What's up, everybody? Welcome back. So, NNL, let's talk about that. Um, but before we do, I got this shop card in the mail today. Uh, Mr. Terry Wilson. That is a beautiful Roadrunner. Beautiful. And um, thank you, Terry, for the very kind words on the back. That's a very angry nugget. If that is very. That. See, uh, see, the, see all the kind words? Very kind words. Mm -hmm. um, thank you, Terry. And, you know, we've actually got to get... We have to get working on a new shop card is what we have to do. Um, and uh, we're going to do that. And uh, as soon as we do, Terry, I'm, you're going to be... You're, like, first on the list to get a new shop card. Along with, I don't know, half a dozen other people that I said I would send a shop card to. <laughs> anyway, so thank you, Terry. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to link... Terry's channel in the description of the video. Uh, go check it out. Um, and I think that's it non-NNL related for now. So. Um, oh no, mine's kind of NNL related. You, well, it, yours is kind of NNL related because I wasn't here. True. I was at NNL while you... So, I heard... Uh, when Jason got home, that a bunch of people were asking where I was. Um, our senior cat, Nugget, who's 17, had surgery Thursday before NNL. Um, and I could, she had her chin cut open like this. So, anyways, I couldn't leave her with a, my mom, the cat sitter. Hi, mom. Um, <laughs> just because she had surgery and she's she wasn't well so I had to I had to stay home to take care of her so that's where I was now however let me interject Heather will be at next year's NNL um we, I will we've already we yeah. have already made that decision um the, 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 <laughs> so when I say we I mean me and Tim Hi Tim. Hi Tim. We've decided that Heather will be at NNL next year, so uh, that's good news. Yeah. So continue. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. So um, as the saying goes, "As the cat's away, the mice will play," right? Yeah. So yeah. Um, I have my own NNL East Hall. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the bookstore. <laughs> Now, Ooh, live it, a, living on the edge. Use bookstore in Rochester, which is near us. Annie's Bookstop. If you're in the area and you like to read, um, they you get uh, half about half off of paperback novels. So I got this book for my brother. These are all for me. I've actually started reading this one. You can see my bookmark. Um, so that's what I did. I figured. Why the heck not? Jason's not home. He can't stop me. Not that he would, but anyways. Oh, so no. then I also did yard work. A lot of it. Oh, son of a... Sorry. I just dropped my other thing. Just the base popped uh, off. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Listen, listen, there's no editing. All right, go ahead. Show him. I'll fix the base after. <laughs> Um, so I, I did yard work and then I also spent some downtime painting another mini. This, I don't know if it's going to focus, is my manticore. Tim, this is the manticore I was trying to explain to you over the phone. It's pretty vicious looking. I had to reprimer the mouth because I screwed it up, so I have to fix that. But this is what I did. So I bought books, I started reading a new book, and I painted another mini which my adventuring party may or may not run into in the near future. Fantastic. Um, we'll see. But anyways, yeah. So, okay. So that was all I did. Cool. Very yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. So what I did was uh, basically, well, you saw, um, I failed <laughs> miserably to do a, that's it, folks, we're headed home section of that video um, because I was absolutely exhausted and facing a four and a half, well, it ended up being all, so on the way down, it was like, gosh, eight hours total driving time from Wolfboro to Wayne, New Jersey, and it was about six and a half on my way home, because, yeah, yeah. um, 
let's just say we went a little faster on the way home than we did on the way down, and we made good time. So um, I brought, I met a lot of cool people. Everybody I met there was amazing. Um, I, I got a bunch of cool stuff. I want to say thank you to everybody that came up and introduced themselves to me. Um, it was amazing. I, I really appreciate every one of you. Um, and I met a bunch of a bunch of YouTubers that I'd never met before. Um, BG, uh, Cliff from GI Scale Mechanics, Frank, Frizzo's Model Garage or Model uh, Model Cars. Sorry, um, it was just almost sensory overload the whole weekend. It was crazy, but I loved every second of it. Um, we got some some stuff to show you guys. I got a lot of stuff here that I want to show you guys. <clears throat> so I figured I would have the the uh, the assistant um, help me out. Not really the assistant. She's more like the boss, but it is what it is. Uh, so I got some... We got a goodie bag that had a bunch of stuff in it, um, but the standouts... I, you get like an NNL wood nickel that was worth five bucks off at a vendor table. I thought I'd rather have the wood nickel. Um, it's my Vanna White. Very nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh... Nope, nope, not yet. Um, it's okay. I'm let you it's okay. Um, we got these really cool photo etch license plate frames and license plates in the goodie bag. Um, I got you know cool shop cards that were handed to me. Uh, Dylan at NYS Modeling. This kid is not only very very polite and super nice, but super talented. Um, I will link his channel in the description of the video also his his stuff is like over the top makes me want to set my stuff out in the front yard go check him out um got another card from my buddy cliff gi scale mechanics another super nice guy um and somebody i'm i was so happy to meet uh so this i may or may not have stolen this <laughs> i don't know there was only one on the table so I took it. I also met James Tester. Uh, scale model experiment. Like I said, it's a sticker. And I really hope that there was a stack there. <laughs> so I will link his his channel in the description of this video. And James, if I stole your sticker, I'm really sorry. I'll mail it back to you. I hope, I hope that I didn't though. Because I really want to stick this on the mirror. Um... <laughs> Now you're going to have to wait till you find out. I know. Anyway, uh, st stood in line for like two hours with BG and Mrs. BG. Mm -hmm. What nice people. I mean, super nice. Um, he's a little shorter than I thought he'd be. He looks short. He looks taller on camera. Um, <laughs> what? Um, but it's okay. And then he gave me one of these. And I'm honored to have one of these. A BG token. Um, you don't just get these. It's I, worth ten dollars. It's I don't know if it's worth anything to be honest with you, but it's it's, it's funny. numbered. It's numbered number six, so I get number six. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I got and then I got an NNL swag. Um, I got a license plate that's hanging on the wall that you can't see. Um, I got a beer koozie or a soda koozie or whatever. Um, I got that T-shirt that's hanging on the wall back there. Um, I really should have got the double extra fat t-shirt because uh, that that's an extra large and I, I look like a water balloon with a rubber band wrapped around it when I put that on. It's not cute. It's not funny. It's not nice. It's not the, it makes a good it makes good wall art at this point, but that's okay. Um, I think that's it. I think that's it. Uh, I've got a huge pile of stuff that I'm going to show you guys. We're going to start with that, even this. though this was not from NNL. This was from, uh, but I did get it on the trip. Um, so technically, technically, it could be considered te NNL if it, it was on the trip. It was, yeah, okay. technically. That's why it's in the pile. Okay. Um, Tim, my buddy Tim Ryan, uh, picked this up for me at um, Downey, not Downey's, you know, Downey's Con. Is no. that the one in Sanford? It was the one in Sanford. I can't remember the I name of it. You said it was Down East Coast. It might have been. It must have been know. Down East Coast. I don't know. Don't listen to me. I don't, I don't know. know. I'm, I probably don't know what I'm talking about either. Um, but Tim, thank you. That's a cool kit. That's really cool, and it's all there. Um, so thank you very much. 
Um, now, Ugh. let's start with the little stuff. This stuff here? Yes, and then... Okay, no, I don't want to get yelled at again. No, you're, you're not going to... Trust me. Thing. Trust me. I know. Exactly. Um, so, first thing I scored, here comes Blizzard at 100 miles an hour. Um, I picked these up from the Model King. Super single sets for my Mack trucks. Two of them. Um, these are usually <clears throat> 25 30 bucks, I think. Uh, they were 14 bucks. So that was a score in itself. So I grabbed those. This little thing? This little thing? This little piggy went to the market? Yep, exactly. I also got these from the Model King. These are the Drag 500s. These are the big slicks. Uh, you know me in drag cars, I always will find um, a use for big slicks. Uh, this, this might be a hint as to a project that's coming down the pike soon like real soon hint hint um six inch cowl hood for a 69 nova that's cool uh that was really cool pick that up let's see it's all washed out oh there you go okay well we can turn that down mm. that's fine um then i went over to uh mike's decals and i got my chicken pit decals Let's adjust this a little bit. Oh, that's the wrong way. Oh. There we go. Holy moly. Burn our faces off. We were in a tan booth. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how these things work. I don't either. Uh, chicken pit decals. Because I want to do that. What if um, Stroker Race came out of retirement? Ford Taurus race car. So that's cool. I was Ooh. really happy Isn't to find that. Isn't like that, that Stroker Race was born a race? Yes. It's a song. I it used, is a song. I used to listen to it. I don't yeah. remember the rest of it, and I don't remember who... Kenny Rogers. Was it Kenny Rogers? Yeah. Sure I th no, it was not was Kenny it Rogers. It was Charlie Daniels? Charlie Daniels. Wow, I almost messed that up big time. You listen Charlie, to Kenny Rogers. Charlie Daniels. <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, so Are we starting So here? now, yes, we'll start there. So now on to the kits. Okay. Uh, first one. Um, this is a really cool kit. Uh, this is the new Mobius 64 Nova Resto Mod. This, guys, would also make a really cool street rod. Street rod. Street rod. Are you going to go separate that? Yes. Okay. I don't know if you can hear that. That's a cat fight going on in the other room. Like I said, we don't, we don't edit. Um... Okay, so this was the deal of the day. Um, I got this one, picked this up. I love me a 37 Ford in any variation. Um, and I picked this up for 16 bucks. I mean, that's a steal, sealed in the, in the wrapper, 16 bucks. So that was cool. Um, this one, very cool, new release. Uh, the Silverado Street Pickup. It's lowered, um, it's cool, so I grabbed it, also cheap money, 22 bucks, 20, 24 bucks, I think, 20, 20 something bucks, can't beat it, couldn't beat it with a stick. <clears throat> uh, let's see. This or the box? That and then the box. Okay. okay, so I grabbed another one of these. I bet you know what I'm going to do with that. You probably don't. I bet you do. She doesn't, but I bet I bet you guys do. There's a group build going on right now that I oh, plan is that, to. Is that your for your street machine thing? No. Oh. No. Um, there's a group build that centers around Mustangs. <laughs> this thing, the box is big. I don't know what <laughs> I want to do with it. Um, I'm trying to be funny. It's okay. You don't have to try. <laughs> I've had a uh, long day. <laughs> um, so you, I bet you know you, what I'm going to do with this. This is a really nice kit. I've been told this kit is absolutely phenomenal so i can't wait to get into this so that's that uh yeah running out of room this place is a mess guys i've got crap everywhere not literal no not literal but crap everywhere okay so i got uh let's see here what do we got um I don't know, I so i got the next i got the next uh next few models from my buddy george oppenheim um uh, was first time meeting him in person um Super nice guy again. <laughs> Hi, George, and thank you for all of these. They are fantastic, uh, and I got them for a good deal. So, um, 
First one is the 50 Olds Custom. That's a cool kit. I've been kind of looking for this kit for a, a handful of years. Um, I am excited to build this. That's a cool car. So there's that one. Uh, the Stardust. Funny car. Don Schumacher's funny car. You know me and vintage drag cars. Uh, I open this up and everything is in there and the decals are perfect. Perfect. So there's that one. There is that. 30 Ford Woody Street Rod 2-in-1. That's a cool kit. That's a really, really nice kit. And I don't have one of these wooden cars. Now I do. So that's pretty cool. So we got that one. Uh, we got this one. This is the last George kit. Um, that's really cool. Blue Max Mustang, the old school one, uh, sealed in the plastic. Very nice. So there you have it. There's the kits from George that I got. Uh, this kit I got from, I can't remember, one of the vendors, but it's really cool. It's speaking of Blue Max. It's the new re release of the Don Schumacher uh, long-nosed Blue Max funny car. Is it Don Schumacher? I don't remember. I think it is. I think Don Schumacher drove the Blue Max all the way through. So um, I might be wrong. If I am, eh, I'll figure it out. But what are you trying to do? It says Harry Schmidt's on the side. Or is that a sponsor? Harry Schmidt's? I don't know. It could be a could be a sponsor. Anywho. Any anywho. Anywho. Any who. There it is. Um, and then this one, <clears throat> um, my good friend and fellow club member John Davidson. We were, I was walking um, from one vendor area to the other, and he stops me, and he says, Hey, I, I won this in the raffle you wanted. I got no interest in it. And I was like, heck yeah. What do you want for it? He's like, I won it in the raffle. Nothing. So thank you, John. Um, I actually am not even sure this kit has been released yet. This might have been a... It might have been a goodie that was stuck into the raffle by a vendor. I'm not sure. But... The 70 Super B. I think this is coming out, I think it's either April or, no, May or, I don't know. I don't think it's out yet, though. Anyway, so I got that. It's pretty cool. It's very cool. And that That's... is it. <clears throat> that is it. So, um, a very cool experience. Um, like I said, I got to hang out with a lot of cool people. We had a great time. Um... I am I am convinced that the NNL East on this side of the country is the biggest and best show there is. Um, even though I haven't been to a lot of other big shows, um, we had like thirteen hundred cars on the tables, and they were all fantastic. Um, <clears throat> I struggled to make a video. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, I think you did okay. I did okay, but I struggled with it. It was tough. Uh, I don't. It's not something I do all the time, so for me, it was, I don't know, I just, we'll just say I struggled with it. Um, a gentleman that did not struggle, though, was Tim Brown. He he just, re, I think he just posted a video that's like an hour and a half long, and he, I'm pretty sure he got every single car on the table. So go check out his video if you want to see a much better um, show coverage video than what I did. <laughs> so. I think you did fine. Um, well, thank you. I'm uh, not biased at all. No, and, and I'm glad she's not biased at all. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that was that was it was a, it was an amazing time. Um, like I said, I had a few people come up and say introduce themselves, and that was great. Um, I had a couple of people request videos, so yeah. it's not something I normally do. I don't normally take requests, <laughs> um, but. Um, one of you guys wanted to see um, those Aoshima kits that I just got opened up. So um, within the next week, I will probably open the, when I say week, I mean between now and like next Wednesday. <laughs> so almost, almost halfway through this week. Um, I'm going to open those kits up and show you guys. Uh, and then another uh, gentleman wanted to know 
if I was going to do the wet sanding tutorial that I promised I'd do months ago. And I will. Um, but i got to get something in paint first. So, um, I will do the video. Uh, like like I said, i got to get something in paint. Which, <clears throat> which uh, that's a good transition right into... We got to get back to work on building stuff. Um, it's been yeah. it was a good weekend. Um, we oh, took some time off so that I could kind of recover and regroup from a um, very fun but long weekend away. Um, I got to clean up in here, organize some stuff, and then uh, we're gonna jump right back into the Land Rovers. I was gonna work on my Land Rover, and you said all I had left. I couldn't do anything until you got paint, which I got today. <laughs> I figured. Yeah, I stopped at the uh, at the Hobby Lobby. Um, the Hobby Lobby. Yep, and picked up the yeah. the paint supplies that we needed to keep going on the Land Rovers. Yeah. You know me; I have to go in order. I couldn't not. I couldn't put my seats together and stuff because I wasn't done with this page. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> you do you, and whatever works best for you. That's yeah. how we want you to do it. Yeah. Um. So. So if you get that paint, we can paint that, and then I can continue on with my uh, Land Rover. Yeah, so I think um, starting tomorrow, I think it's back on the Land Rover. So that's going to be fun. And uh, don't know if we're going to get those done by her birthday at this point, because her birthday's Probably coming not. up quick. It's in about a month. But we wanted to actually sh debut them in October anyway at the Classic yeah. Plastic Show. So that gives us basically all summer and like early fall. To, uh, to get those wrapped up. So that'll be fun, and we'll get there. Um, I've got some other stuff going on, as you guys know. Uh, I've got the Street Machine group build that is coming up really soon. Um, I've already had one gentleman post a video, which is awesome. Um, I will tag his channel and tell you about him in my official kickoff video, which will be posted Saturday. Uh, that'll be a little bit early because it starts May 1st, but I figure if I post it Saturday, it gives you guys the weekend to do your videos and, uh, you know, figure out what you're doing and get them posted up, so. You know what else is Saturday? D&D &D D &D Day. D&D Day. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, so that's going to be another busy weekend. Mm-hmm. Hey, buddy. Yeah, he's talking to us. So. All right, um, I've clamored on enough, uh, but it was kind of a lot to explain, so... Oh, hi, bud. I don't you mind him. You coming this way? No. No, he's... Yeah, yep. he is. Yep. Hey, dude. Hey, bud. Oh, it's an and empty box. It's an empty box, and he's going to land right in it. Go ahead. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um... Check out all the channels that I said I was going to link in the description of the video. Uh, go check out Hobby Nut Models. Um, and I think for now, that is it. For now, that's it. We're, we're pushing 25 minutes, uh, which is longer than I normally post. So I'm sorry, guys, but there was a lot of cool stuff to talk about. So, it was. Uh, yeah, anything you want to say? No, that's it. That's it? That's it. Oh, bye, Heather. <laughs> bye, Heather. We'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.